What's up guys, my name is Calvin Wiley and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be talking about Arcus Spirostreptus gigas, commonly referred to as the giant African millipede. Now, a few years back, I made a care video on giant African millipedes. And so if you're interested in learning how to care and keep one as a pet, I highly recommend you go and watch that video. I'll leave a link in my description box for you to click on to be directed to that video. Now in this video, I will not be talking about any sort of care requirements or husbandry. I will just be strictly talking about information on the giant African millipede. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so this right here is Arcus Spirostreptus gigas, commonly referred to as the giant African millipede. Now, this particular millipede species that I'm holding in my hand is renowned for being the world's largest species of millipede on the planet. And right now, as you can see, it is currently about to urinate on my hand. So that is pretty cool. I'll just wait for it to expel its waste. But that's pretty cool. You can see the insides of it. Oh, oh, actually, it's about to poop on me. A mixture of urine and feces. I totally did not have this planned for the video, but I am not mad about it at all. You know, let it, let it do its thing, you know. coming out very slow yeah so I bet this was not on your bucket list today to see the excretion the the waste of a millipede but life will sometimes throw you some curveballs oh look at that <laughs> I mean <laughs> uh... Um, <laughs> this is kind of taking up a bit of time in my video, but that's okay. I, I hope you guys don't mind this. Hopefully you're not eating while you are watching this, but yeah. So I'm just going to let it continue to doing that. I'm just going to not focus on that right now and continue talking about this giant African millipede. Now, the one that I'm currently holding is not full grown yet, although it does look very, very long. This is, believe it or not, not at its full potential. They can actually grow to be much larger than this. So this one is around eight to nine inches in length, but when giant African millipedes molt to their full potential, they can be about 12 to 13 inches long. Giant African millipedes can be found in several different countries in East Africa, such as Tanzania and Kenya. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a millipede is, millipedes are what are classified as myriapods. So myriapods are one out of the four different groups of arthropods. An arthropod is just anything with an exoskeleton. So there are four groups of arthropods. There are insects, there are arachnids, there are myriapods, such as this millipede, and there are crustaceans. Now you're probably familiar with insects. Insects have a total of three body segments and six legs, while arachnids have a total of two body segments and eight legs. Myriapods, such as centipedes and millipedes, they have many, many, many body segments, as well as many, many legs. Now the total number of legs as well as the total number of body segments will vary depending on the species of millipede and also the species of centipede. For this particular millipede species, when it reaches full maturity, it'll have roughly around 400 legs in total. So this is what constitutes a millipede as well as centipedes for being myriapods. If you think of the word myriad, myriad being a large sum of something, a large amount, a large number, think of their many body segments as well as their many, many legs. 
Now I want to talk about the diet of millipedes. Millipedes as a whole, not just the giant African millipede, but millipedes in general are detritivores. Now detritivores are organisms that feed on organic matter and then they recycle those nutrients back into the soil. And so out in the wild, the giant African millipede will feed on dead decomposing plant material. This includes things like rotten fruits and vegetables, rotted wood, dead leaves, and they'll also feed on animal feces as well. They'll feed on the waste of other animals. And so as they consume these products, they'll actually expel their waste into the soil, which will help give back nutrients and so they are good recycling systems. Now despite them feeding on mostly dead decomposing plant materials, they'll also feed on fresh fruits and vegetables as well. Now as you've been watching, the giant African millipede is very slow at moving despite all of its many legs. You may be wondering how can they protect themselves from predators. And so the giant African millipede, when threatened and faced with a potential predator, will coil up into a ball, sort of like a ring. Now this will protect their head and it'll also protect their underside as well. Now coiled up into a ring, the giant African millipede will release toxins from its body. It has specialized glands that run alongside both sides of its body, its left and its right side, whereas it'll secrete these uh, toxic fluids called benziquinone. Now the benziquinone is a deterrent against predators. It's very unpleasant if you've ever had the opportunity to smell it. Over the course of however long I've been keeping giant African millipedes, they've released their toxic substance benziquinone quite a few times for me. Uh, if it gets on your hands, it will discolor your skin. Just make sure you wash your hands if you ever get on your skin. I mean, I've never tasted it, but it is said to be very unpleasant, very unpalatable. And of course, it's meant to deter predators from wanting to consume the giant African millipede if the smell doesn't drive them off before. But yeah, I'm, all they need to do is just get a good whiff of it. And if that doesn't work, they will most likely lick the giant African millipede and want to spit it out and go on with their merry way. And so that is how giant African millipedes are able to protect themselves from potential predators. So really quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys my brand new line of stickers that I have available for sale on my website. All of these are various animals that I drew on paper by hand, colored them in, and then converted them into high quality, long lasting, waterproof stickers. Just to give you a quick idea of what they look like up close, here's one of my favorite drawings that I drew of a European hornet. All of these drawings were achieved by using these markers to color them in. If you're interested in purchasing any of these stickers, you can head on over to my website, calvinwiley.net, or you can hit the link in my description which will send you directly to my website for you to purchase them. Thank you so much to all of those in advance who end up getting one for supporting my small business. And now, back to the video. Giant African millipedes can make some really great pets, especially for those who have a pretty hectic schedule and ultimately a busy life. They don't require much maintenance and are extremely easy to care for. Like I stated earlier, if you want to learn how to care for a giant African millipede, you can go and watch my giant African millipede care video that I made a few years back. But these guys, although they are extremely slow in growing, they can live around 10 years in captivity. And so when kept properly, you can have a giant African millipede for many, many years to come. Now, one thing I forgot to mention earlier in the video is that each time the giant African millipede molts, which means it sheds its exoskeleton, they will grow additional legs and they will also grow additional body segments. So they keep adding on to both their legs and also the length, the body segments of their body. <laughs> 
Now, when it comes to millipedes, millipedes have two pairs of legs per body segment. And so if you just look, you'll see two pairs of legs. So for example, one, two, and then obviously it's reciprocated on the other side, you have one, two. And so two pairs, four, four legs per one body segment. Now, oh, this is a great time to talk about this now that I'm focused in on the underside of it. So you see those little mites crawling on its body. Let me see if you can, yeah, you, you see those? It's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see them moving around. Let me see if I could find some more. Uh, let's see, there's, yep, there's two right there. So virtually found on all giant African millipedes are these little mites. Now these mites do not pose a risk or any sort of harm to the giant African millipede. These mites actually feed on whatever they find on the millipede's body. So whether that's excess food or any sort of fungi growing on the giant African millipede's body, these mites will actually consume that. And so these mites share a symbiotic relationship with the giant African millipede, whereas the mites feed on whatever it can find on the giant African millipede to clean it up in exchange for protection while being on the giant African millipede. All right, well, that is going to conclude today's video. If you have any questions about the giant African millipede, please feel free to ask me in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, if you could please leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications. That way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Check out my website, kelvinwiley.net. And I will see you guys in the next video.